Well, welcome back to America's Weather Center. It is a wet start to the day for Houston as a powerful storm system is targeting the southern plains. Notice all the raindrops right there on the camera lens. And severe storms are likely to bring damaging winds, hail, and even tornadoes. Yeah, that's absolutely right. And we've got everything we need for a rotating thunderstorm today, except we don't have the low-level instability just yet. But that may change. You never know. Let's bring in Fox 26 Houston meteorologist John Dawson. And, John, I woke up this morning and I looked at the uh, the sounding down at Corpus Christi and the LCL, the lithic condensation level, essentially the cloud base, was 42 feet. I was like, okay, we might be socked in. That might help us. Yeah, totally. Uh, w w I've seen that with all of our tower cams as well. You know, there's basically nothing but clouds. Can't see anything uh, much across the Houston area. And I've certainly enjoyed seeing uh, R Robert Ray this morning with his live shots. I'm mm -hmm. glancing up on the monitor every once in a while and seeing what he's got to look like uh, towards downtown. He's got a better camera angle than some of our tower cams. But we're 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 optimistic, but we're we're thankful that we've seen decreasing probability from both the Storm Prediction Center uh, and the Weather Prediction Center on their products uh, concerning flooding and severe weather. So we know we're not out of the woods and certainly like what you said there, Bob, the ingredients are still there. Uh, that low level instability hasn't happened and we're hoping, we're planning maybe that that's going to be something that doesn't quite pop up for us today. Mm. Yeah, and John, you know, talking about the wind shear and the ample moisture that we have in place and just also seeing all of that rain on the camera lens. I mean, gosh, it's it's been a soaker for you all so far, which is great to see. But that means that if we do see a spin up tornado, it could potentially be rain wrapped. Uh, yeah, the visibility will de definitely be an issue because of the rain that we've had and the low level clouds and the things that we've been talking about. Um, and we'll certainly uh, take the kind of rain that we've received so far today. It's been very dry here in southeast Texas. We're beginning to sort of exit some some drought situations. Um, and our friends over in Louisiana, though, they're the ones who definitely need more rain than we do. And the forecast has definitely shifted to the higher mounts are going to be over into Louisiana. So um, again, we're not wanting severe weather. Uh, and the potential is still there, but those heavier rainfalls, if they can be manageable, it will be well received, really starting from Beaumont over into Louisiana. Hey, John, any concerns with flash flooding going on? If you get some one big rainmaker overhead for a short period of time, any flash flooding concerns for Houston? I, I don't think we ever never drop flash flooding concerns yeah, no in Houston question, no because doubt. it so much concrete and it can happen so quickly. But as I mentioned, that those the fact that the Weather Prediction Center lowering uh, their their expectations on excessive rainfall uh, that's certainly uh, nice to see. Uh, but definitely aware uh, that uh, one of those uh, downpours could just stall over one of our freeways or feeder roads, that's and uh, we're definitely going to have uh, right? some water in the roads. Yeah. Yeah. And so as we head into the next few hours, we have to think about uh, folks getting on the roads and kiddos getting off school. Have there been any uh, early releases for schools or maybe just closures kind of ahead of this overall system? I will say my son asked me about that question yes. a couple different times. <laughs> and no, uh, as far as I know, we haven't had anyone uh, you know, with the morning schedule uh, or anything in the afternoon schedules uh, as far as uh, early releases or anything like that. But I think there's still going to be enough stormy weather around that it's going to mess with our commuting. Uh, Perhaps not a severe storm, and again, I won't be disappointed by that at all, uh, but certainly enough uh, activity that it would um, kind of slow us down a little bit whenever everybody's trying to get home from school and work today. <laughs> it's so yeah. great. But having having a couple of kids myself, John, it was the same thing. It's like, okay, all I want to know is, am I going to get out of school early or is it going to be no school tomorrow? They don't care temperature. They don't care what it is. That's all they care about, no school. Yeah, and then, and then immediately it's like, I got to tell all my friends, right? He's going to pass right. that along, that it's information. It's like wildfire. It spreads. Yep, they're the yep. liaison. All right. Well, glad to see that overall downgrade from the Storm Prediction Center. We will be closely monitoring the radar as you will as well. John Dawson from Fox 26, thank you so much for being with us.